One of the big stories from the show is the launch of Teva's new seven and a half tonner, and the covers are just about to come off. Well, that was it. You've seen the unveiling of the new third generation Teva. Time to find out a bit more about it. Dale, this looks fantastic, like nothing else at the show. Um, all down to you. Well, I've uh, headed up the uh, design team, um, so I, I have some guys that, that 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 work with me. It doesn't all just come from from one person, but uh, yeah, this is um, this is a, a vision that was inspired by conversations with Asher and uh, David Thackeray as to what they wanted for, for their beloved Teva brand. We wanted to have a very technical, I guess, scientific feel at the same time being strong. What part of it are you most proud of? I think. I think it's the the overall the overall message. Um, we 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 have a I think we have a feel from a design point of view that that sits quite quite easily on on what is normally quite an awkward proportion. You know, trucks are quite boxy; they're big. But we found that by embracing that and approaching it with a I guess the uh, the more appropriate design language, uh, we've got something that, that worked. Less for us really was more. Well, I've got to say, for me, the the best bit, without a doubt, are those fantastic tail lights. They really do look like nothing else I've seen on a truck before. What, what's the, wh where have they come from? Um, I'm, I'm of an age where I think 80s uh, television played a big part in my influence. Uh, so um, um, when, we, when we started uh, trying to think of, uh, well, what it would be that would really float our boat at the, at the rear of the vehicle, but also work with this, we took I guess this feel, this graphic, and it instantly reminded me of um, a 1969 um, Dodge Charger RT, which you might know better as the, the General Lee yeah, yeah, in the Dukes of Hazzard. So we, we took the, the horizontal pill graphic from the Neo pattern and we literally split to the sides and then all of a sudden we thought, we've got to do the dark in case for that. And next thing you know, we've got a, a charger inspired um, I guess uh, tail light solution for the rear end Brilliant. of the truck. Right, it definitely works. Oh well, thanks. <laughs> Congratulations on the whole thing. Thank you very much. Pete, we've just heard from Dale there about all, all the uh, design elements of the new vehicle. Can you tell me about how you're going to get it on stream and ready for the market? Yeah, well I guess um, you know design and the engineering of the product's really, really important. Um, but those kind of events happen once. Uh, what we've got to do is, is scale ourselves up to be able to produce these in the thousands. Uh, and in the first step, we're going to be producing in our first facility 3,000 units per annum. Um, and that needs to be done uh, cost effectively because um, the transition as we go from the diesel product to EV, we have to do that in such a way that the total cost of ownership is at parity with the diesel. Um, so it's really important that we build efficiency into that and we can do it in a really cost-effective way. And we'll start to build up the first pre-production products at the uh, end of this year and early next year. And what we'll be doing there is, is basically training all of the production associates uh, on, the, on the quality points that we need to build in because it's absolutely critical to ensure that this product is uh, reliable and dependable. And we'll get that first facility up and running once that's all proven, then we'll look towards further markets and we'll sort of copy and paste that production system. We'll replicate that into Europe and then we'll replicate that into the US.